want to show you some pictures. The man right there, David Saint-Jacques, Canadian astronaut who is about to become part of the next mission to the International Space Station. You see that maple leaf there on the uh, on the arm. And uh, at Star City this morning holding a news conference, our Chris Brown is going to bring us coverage later in the day on CBC News Network. But giving some comments ahead of his uh, launch schedule for December the 3rd, moved up. What an honor it is to represent Canada. What an important event in his life and the country's progression and how he's going to strive to do what Chris Hadfield did before him, which is welcome us on the space mission virtually. So it sounds like we're going to have a lot of fun social media from Chris Hadfield once he gets up to the space station in December. Want to talk more about this with Bob McDonald. There is Bob, the host of Quirks and Quirks on CBC Radio, our science commentator. He's in Victoria as always this morning. Hello there. Good morning, Heather. I think this is going to be our last chance right, to hear from David Saint-Jacques uh, before he goes into deep mission preparation. And so we were wanting to hear some, some of his comments, and we will hear it later in the day with Chris Brown there. But just some of the initial things. It's, you know, the typical nice Canadian response, proud and what a privilege, and hey, I'm going to take you along for the ride virtually. Which is uh, remarkable because this is his very first time in space and uh, quite often on first missions they're so concerned about getting everything right and focusing on it but uh, David is confident, he's capable and uh, uh, I think we should really look forward to some wonderful videos just like we saw from Chris. They I think it's going to be fantastic. One of the things that it didn't seem he talked about, maybe he was asked and we'll get some further detail uh, when Chris reports in, but any sense of hesitation or concern about the safety of the Soyuz because because his will be the first mission since that emergency landing that you and I talked about. Uh, obviously, they're going ahead because they have full confidence, but do you think they should? Uh, absolutely, I think they should because uh, the safety has been shown to actually work on the last mission when the booster rocket uh, had a failure. Well, there, there's four boosters at the base and they all come off after it's about uh, a couple of kilometers up. One of them didn't come off properly. It, it hit the main core and then that caused their capsule at the top to be popped off by an emergency escape system and they landed safely. So if something goes wrong, we know that that system works. Unlike the previous American space shuttles, when those things blew up, the whole thing exploded and took the crew with them. So um, I think they're fairly confident that that system will work. We know that. But I also think they fixed the problem. These uh, Soyuz rockets uh, have been flying for so long. Uh, they're very, very reliable. They're the most reliable ones that we know. Yeah, they know what the problem was, and they fixed it. It's sort of like when cars are recalled. The manufacturer says, hey, your car needs to come in because there's a little part that might fail. We're going to fix that. You don't throw the car away. You just get that part fixed, and you drive on. So I think that's the attitude they have. Okay. He will be joining a Russian cosmonaut and a NASA astronaut when he goes on his mission. Speaking of NASA, I want to, since you're here, I want to ask you about something else very important. We have NASA's administrator. He's just been in Ottawa for a couple of days for a big conference of the aerospace industry. And he's been talking about the Lunar Gateway, this next mission to the moon. And he wants Canada to be involved. It was really interesting. Yesterday, there was some expectation, some uh, excitement that maybe Canada would announce its participation in some form, but it didn't. And I'm wondering if that's missed opportunity or whether that was more pragmatic until Canada gets more detail. What do you think? Well, I think it's an ongoing process because they've been talking about this for quite a while. And uh, the idea is that Canada can participate in the return to the moon in three different ways. One, we could send Canadian astronauts there. Imagine a Canadian planting a Canadian flag on the moon. Wouldn't that be amazing? So that could happen in the future. Uh, astronauts who are just being born now might, uh, might be doing that in the future. But this gateway uh, is another space station, a smaller version of the International Space Station that they want to build in orbit around the moon that will stay there permanently. And people can use that as a staging to go down to the surface and back up again. Well, it could use a cannon arm in the same way that the International Space Station has an arm on it. And it's used to grab 
have visiting spacecraft that come there and attach them to it to dock and to release them again as they come and go. So we could contribute that way with our robotic Canadarm technology. And the third way is robots on the ground because they're going to be doing a lot of exploration on the moon, looking for minerals, looking for ice, uh, for deposits and, and prospecting and things like that. And a lot of that's going to be done with robotic rovers. And Canada's pretty good at building those things too. So we could contribute in that way. Also with artificial intelligence so that these robots will be able to roll around on their own like dogs. You just sort of say, hey, go fetch. And they go out and do something and then come back and tell you what they found. So I think Canada has some <laughs> opportunities here to participate in the, uh, the next phase of space exploration, just like we've been participating from the very, very beginning. Well, he was hoping to have Canada sign up. 2021, this is set scheduled to start out, uh, this next-gen space station, Lunar Gateway. We're 2018. We have lots of time to talk about it between now and then, so come on back and we'll talk about Lunar <laughs> Gateway again, Bob, okay? Okay, Heather, All my right, pleasure. fantastic. Bob McDonald in Victoria, thank you very much.